Sport Motion by Mack and Colton. How kicking and controlling a soccer ball works. When kicking a soccer ball, the force applied to the ball is greater in magnitude than the sum of the forces of friction and air resistance on the ball. Therefore, the ball will accelerate forward. The first law of motion is called the law of inertia. It states that any object at rest will tend to stay at rest, and any object in motion will tend to stay in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. This unbalanced force could be gravity, wind, or any moving object. In soccer, however, this unbalanced force is usually the soccer player's foot. He or she will use muscle in the body to create force to move the leg and kick the ball. Because the ball is at rest, it will continue to stay at rest, but once kicked, it will keep moving in a straight line without any intent of stopping. The reason the ball will stop is because of friction at Earth's gravitational pull. Newton's second law states that the change in velocity with which an object moves is directly proportional to the magnitude of the force applied to the object and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. This can be explained by the equation F equals ma. The acceleration of the ball is determined by the force applied divided by the mass of the object that is being moved. This simply means that if the ball has a lot of mass, it will require more force to accelerate. If the ball has a little mass, it will require little force. In soccer, it is important to know this law because if you want the ball to be moving fast, you must apply more force. If you want the ball to be moving just a little bit, then you should apply less force. Newton's final law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This literally means that if you kick the soccer ball, it will kick back at you just as hard. You usually don't realize this because your leg doesn't seem to move, but this is because your leg has more mass, meaning it has more inertia. For the remainder of these videos, you will see me kicking the ball straight up in the air and then catching or controlling it on my foot. We chose to do this to display just how the ball will technically kick back at you, as stated in Newton's third law. Not on this video, but on our next and last video, you will see me kick the ball almost 40 meters in the air and catch it on my foot. I had to lock my entire ankle to control it, and you can clearly see just how hard the ball really can kick back. Afterwards, in slow motion, you'll see a real time of how fast the ball was really going.